locales included Sumatra, Java, Bali, Philippines, France, the Mediterranean region, Netherlands, Austria, Egypt, and Palestine. Devlin contributing, these highly professional travelogues received wider distribution by New Art in 1936 and enjoyed a second life as educational material in public schools, being reissued for copyright in the 1950s. Columbia Pictures commissioned him to provide material for a number of their own documentary shorts starting in 1939, recycling some footage he shot earlier in France as well as new material scouted mostly in the United States, Canada and the Caribbean on account of the war in Europe. A typical reel, well received in 1942 by Box Office magazine, was Cajuns of the Teche, covering Louisiana's local culture. It was with Warner Brothers that he was at his most prolific and most polished. His long association with that studio began with his early 1943 covering, the simply titled, Snow Sports of Lake Placid, New York and the Tropical Sportland of Florida, by now, he was working in full Technicolor. These one real sports parade and two real Technicolor specials benefited greatly from rousing studio orchestra scores, many by Howard Jackson and William Lava, and additional writing by Owen Crump, among other seasoned studio veterans. Strong narration by radio familiars Art Gilmore and Marvin Miller were an added plus. One of several covering Germany, Time Stood Still, was Oscar-nominated in early 1957.